Ooh. So if you bring us a job where we need to do some consulting for 1.2 million and we do it and we give you 10% and then the next time you bring us another one for 1.4 million, then we give you 15% rather than 10. I like this. I, uh, I can get you some pretty lucrative deals and I will make sure to constantly one-up myself. Excellent. I, uh, I'm going to start small, though, because you did a good job with the bank, but it was messy, and I need to see what you guys do as yourselves. Sure, sure. All right. That, uh, that works for me. Uh, and you're happy to meet here? Would you prefer a different, less volatile venue? No, this, uh, this is perfect right here. This is a good spot. Will you trust us with the inmate with 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 who this other person is? Who we have to quiet for? That would be contingent on a couple things. I would need to know your politics. Okay. And I would need an agreement. What sort of agreement? It would be an agreement that... Well, why don't we talk politics first? Okay. What sort of politics are you curious about? That's a vast field. Yes. It is a vast field, but when it really boils down to it, it's really just one thing, isn't it? Okay. When you're thinking about weird? the grand schemes of rules and laws and who's in charge and who calls the shots and why we do what we do, there's really just one thing, right? Meaning what? We live in a political pyramid yeah. with a point at the very top. Yeah. I You're was... wondering what we think of that point? Exactly. Ooh, I exchanged Lex with the party. Mm. Didn't we, didn't we kind of explain that point of view when we were last year? That we were looking to help follows? I think we, we said we, we we yeah we asked if anyone was in his bad books, didn't we? Were you gonna say uh, um last deal? Sorry. Oh uh, no, no worries. Uh, I think we said that uh we were looking for um what was it um to gain more power essentially towards that direction, mm -hmm. and that perked up uh, Six's ears a little bit. Oh yeah, because oh that was when. Uh, he said, what do you want? And I think Rippy leaned forward and said, more. Yeah, that, was, that it. was when he liked that response. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think, um, hmm, mm -hmm, hmm. I'm wondering if this is the sort of thing where I should try to roll to like, because I have, I could, I could, uh, I could con artist him, but I mean, what would be wrong with sort of going further down the the avenue of like what is our opinion on Volos? Well, as long as he doesn't cause us any problems and we don't cause him any problems, then we don't think about him at all. As long as he's not fucking with us and we're not fucking with him, then the grind continues, you know? What does the part think of that? Well, I mean, I guess we don't it's kind of hard to fuck. We can't I can't communicate that telepathically. So I guess Rippy will just fucking say that out loud. He'd say, uh, well, where's our politics in terms of uh, Mr. V Dog? Well, I would say that uh, mostly unless uh, somehow we were required to interface with him directly, we stay out of his lane, he stays out of ours, and that's it. As uh, Rippy's saying this, I want to uh, profile my subject. Yeah. 
And it's an, uh, allowed to, uh, when you investigate a subject, you can form a precise mental image of your target based on your findings. Roll Guile. And essentially, I want to uh, learn about our subject's next move. After Rippy says that, I want to try to gain inclination of whether that's the answer he wanted to hear or not. Ah, okay, roll. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Eight. So with that, you get to choose one, right? Yes. And you want to choose what do... his next move is, right? Yeah, learn the subject's next move. Okay, which is basically... Is it a is it a positive or a negative thing based on his response? Uh, okay. And so, Rippy, you said basically as long as Volo stays out of our business, we stay out of his business, and everything's fine. Yeah, exactly. Like I, I'm trying, I'm trying hard not to imbue any particular opinion one way or the other. Like I'm trying to, I'm trying to say it in such a way that um, we don't risk aligning ourselves too 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 much in either direction so basically i'm not saying yeah like fuck volos like we we we'd usurp him if we had the chance nor are we saying oh man he's he's the big dog we gotta we gotta do whatever he says i'm sort of saying like hey if he if he doesn't bother us we don't bother him and other than that we don't think about him we don't we don't care what he wants or what his policies are as long as it doesn't affect us yep um and so uh uh bishop what you get is uh he's gonna try again he's not Interesting. he's not okay with a non-answer with with this line of questioning is the uh so i guess with you profiling him as rippy okay. is saying this um he kind of his shoulders shift just a tiny bit uh, and you see his mouth turn down on the corner just a tiny little bit in dissatisfaction with that answer. Interesting, interesting, and, interesting. And uh, he says, but really, nothing happens that doesn't interface with the tip of the pyramid in some way as everything is designed from it, right? I think uh, Rippy trying as much as he can to not show any unease would sort of just look at the rest of the party like out of his out of the side of his vision. Like he's he's now sort of talked himself into a corner and doesn't feel like he can necessarily bullshit his way out of this one. Um, I'll say I'll step in and I will say. Oh, fuck. I'll step in and say. How do we explain now. how we yeah, how I'll, do we explain how, how we feel about Volos without fucking ourselves over? I'll step in and say, for now, that's all. Current lane. We're looking to change gears, obviously, into something a little bit more high speed, because I think there might be something a bit more powerful out there. Let's try I'll, I'll look at him and say, the triangle tip that you have described is not the triangle tip that I envision. Ah. Uh, oh. Ah. Okay. Interesting. Um and with that his mouth goes back to just kind of a straight line gash in his face. Interesting. And uh kind of looks over at you bishop. And uh he says So What you're saying is that the system, as it is right now, the pyramid, as it's been built, is imperfect or incomplete? I think well, it's we... bigger. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was. I you 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 finish your your thought. I was gonna say I think it's. I think it's bigger than you know. He leans forward in his chair a little bit. Bigger than I know. Now that is something I haven't heard. Interesting. Ooh, good luck. 
What? How do you seek to fit into this pyramid so big that even I can't see it? I want to, like, lean in real close. Yep. I aim to break it. And he smiles so wide. Oh! <laughs> what do his teeth look like? <laughs> <laughs> um, his teeth. His teeth look, you know, mostly normal. Square, not pointed. Yeah, yeah. Good. Square, okay. square, not pointed. Yeah. That's a good start. Okay. Uh And uh, he says, "This is something that I like to hear." A lot. I feel that the pyramid is imperfect. I believe that the pyramid is imperfect. If you know that the pyramid is bigger, then I would like to know what you know. But of course, that would be unfair to just ask that of you with no return. So I can offer you great things if you will oh, come explain on to me. Then. Oh, great things! Piss off with the great things! What does that even mean? Great things? What sort of great things could you offer, Rosa? What that we haven't already got? Well, if you'd let me finish. Oh yeah, okay. Go ahead. I. I... <laughs> Explain all sorts of great things. I can offer you. I can offer you a place in the perfect pyramid. If it's a larger pyramid, perhaps I can't guarantee the place that I think I can. But I can guarantee you power and resources beyond anything you could accomplish on your own. Beyond anything, any ascended could achieve on their own. I can give you the power to break the pyramid. As long as you're willing to rebuild it with some guidance. Or let it be rebuilt without your inclusion, depending on what you want from this broken pyramid. I can give you allies, money, political gain, and eventually the power of the top of the pyramid as far as I understand it. And why would you be willing to part with something like that? Because... Rather than taking it for yourself. I can't take it for myself. I need people like you. Why is it? Before we talk any further, we need to come to an agreement that is binding beyond words. And binding beyond contract and legal. Well, now you can see why it maybe makes us a little bit uneasy that we told you exactly what our plans are, but now you're trying to create a contract just to give us the same answer. So it's starting to feel like it's not very a balanced equation. I just Here, we offered give you, you information for free. You don't give us any information of yourself. I just told you I'll give you power, allies, money, political gain. That only means so much because it kind of depends on the person who's giving yeah, those things. Precisely. Couldn't have said it better myself, Mr. Sebastian. Exactly as he said, it means nothing that you're offering us this, these things when you won't even tell us what your intentions are. 
we told you what ours are, but as soon as we want to know yours, you just say, oh, I'll make you very powerful, and we need to sign an agreement and all of this and that. I've said that your goals make me happy. We are aligned with that. Right, 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 right. But if you're trying to trick me and lie to me to sell me out, we need to come to an agreement where you're unable to do that before I say anything. Okay. So, if you're willing, and only if you're willing, I would have you swear a soul oath. A soul? S-O-U-L? Yes. Oh, what is that in tail? It entails words that I will speak to you that you then repeat. And it will bind you through to your soul in a way where violation forfeits your soul forever. And what would the conditions of this agreement be? That you don't use what I tell you against me. Ah, you see. And are you going to make a similar agreement with us? Nothing you will do will interfere with us in any way whatsoever? Absolutely. I don't know about this. What do you think, friends? It seems suspicious to me that he asks us what we want with uh, the tip of the pyramid and we explain it, but now he wants some big grand gesture just to tell us the same answer, the same question for himself. I find this is a hard of... pass for me. Yeah, that's a really? hard pass just because, and I want to make this perfectly clear, uh, you have a client base. How many of these people in your client base have had to do this sort of agreement with you before? Before us. That's something I can't answer. I want to do an inside to see if that answer is zero. Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Roll plus wisdom. Uh... <sighs> Dang it, roll 20. <laughs> Oh man, Can't it's hard to read. Get, yeah. yeah, with the with the hood up and the glasses and his his nearly unreadable face, it's hard to tell. Hmm. Oh, I really want to ask a question, but okay. So listen, I'm gonna tell the party where I'm at with this. This is why it's a hard pass for me. All right, I think it's a little too convenient that this guy, I'm especially with his fucking music. Okay, <laughs> maybe he's putting me on edge. I don't know. But it, I feel like it's a little too convenient that almost every arc we've been in, there's been a fucking Volos entity there that has been trying to fuck us over that we didn't realize was there. Mm. Yeah. And I kind of feel like this is the... The, the, the verbiage, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like, the, the I always, I'd love to make deals. Like, the, this, the <laughs> he said a few things, and I'm just kind of like, is this Volos? Or one of Volos's, <laughs> like, minions that makes sure that all of the ascended stay in check and no one gets too out of place yeah yeah because um especially with the whole like if i explain to you what my mission is you have to agree to you have to make a soul contract and never say anything yeah. i don't know man. Just out, of, out of the character volos's mo is everyone like 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 i'll treat you like my best friend as long as you are not higher than I am on the food chain. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. So, you're know, like, yeah, he might treat you. It's like kind of like the mafia, you know, like they treat you well. And they, you know, you're part of the family, but to hell if you try to, if you try to take the Don position, you know. Yep. That. Do we want to ask in universe to kind of have a moment to discuss among ourselves and see if there's a private place that we can not be overheard in? Or do we want to just answer we're allowed to say volos in this universe right oh yeah yep all right in that case um bishop i think is going to go with his gut and i'm going to use interrogator and ask him a single question okay uh oh you might cut out you good yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yep okay uh 
when you question someone to get the information out of them, roll Guile. On a 10 plus, they tell you everything you want. On a 7 to 9, you can only choose one. Uh, you only get some of the information you need, or it takes longer than you'd like to get the information out of them. So I'd like to use Interrogator to ask him the question, how loyal is he to Volos? Uh, okay, roll, uh, roll Interrogator. Okay. Oh. On a 10 oh. plus. How loyal are you to Volos? Yes. Uh, I operate within the confines of the world he has constructed. I abide by the rules and I flourish given my set of talents. And thus, my role in this world does not conflict at all with the way Volos has set it up. And if you want to know the specific details of my allegiance, you will have to take the soul oath. <laughs> That's going to be a hot pass. Yeah. <laughs> what political party are you part of? Well, if you sell your soul to me, I'll let you know. <laughs> Six, I'll be honest. I'm interested, but I, just... I think we need to get to know each other a little more first. Yeah, besides Maybe this I... is... Yeah, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, besides, I can just go to the, you know, public records office and find out how you vote and pretty much that'll inform me of where you are. Well, are we going to trust you some, uh, something like that in a place like this? Come on. No way they're keeping accurate records. Mm, Listen, it does, good, not good it does not inspire much faith in us as your compatriots when there seems to be an unequal willingness to exchange information. Indeed. We give you incredibly revealing personal information and you play hopscotch with us the entire time. Uh, but he's scotch. I think this is a matter of a trust issue. You see, when we asked about your howling friend and in, in the house, you said it's not something we can't talk about. It's just something that requires a little bit more trust. And then later, the same exact conversation or day, if you will, you we inquire something about you when you say we need to have a soul oath. Uh, it is going to require a little bit more trust. Well, you see, the thing is, without the soul oath. You can simply lie to me. And we can just not talk about it. If you don't want to know about what's downstairs, I don't have to tell you. You don't if you don't care, we can just leave it alone. You know, for someone in Intel, you're gonna tell me that anytime you need a trusted associate, you do a soul oath? Are you kidding me? Well, let me rephrase it like this. Can you tell us why you're so protect? Why do you need to know specifically how we feel about the pyramid in order to tell us about what's going on downstairs? Can you give us more information about why you're being so secretive? Uh, roll plus charisma. Nice. Ooh. Okay. Nice. Because... The two are inextricably linked. And interesting. To tell you about one would be to tell you about the other. I could just tell you it's my protection downstairs. Okay. But that's not that's not a satisfying answer, is it? Not really, no. And to tell you any more would be to, well, to be perfectly honest, would be to betray my own soul oath. Well, why don't you tell just one of us then? And then 
that one of us can tell the rest of us whether or not it's worth it to take the bond in the first place. I mean, you could just make it so that that person can't say what you've told them, but or they could tell us whether or not it's a waste of time. Oh, that's a good idea. Sebastian, get over here. Get over here, Sebastian. You're up. I'm <laughs> right next to you. Come on, get over here. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> What do you think about that six, eh? Why don't you tell Mr. Sebastian what it is that you're so secretive about? Swear him to silence about it, and then he can decide whether or not it makes sense for all of us to take the same plan. Surely you've got nothing to worry about unless what you've got planned is nefarious, eh? I don't know. This is arcane school loans all over again. I smell it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would gladly take a soul oath from one of you and tell you everything. And then you can decide whether or not that's worthwhile for your friends. What do you think, Sebastian? This is up to you. Think long and hard about it. And don't make a decision on the snippy snap. Uh, Sebastian tries to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely your decision, but you should do it. I would like, we should, I would like to take, I mean. Why we, aren't any of you walking up to this? <laughs> oh, God. Huh? I'm sorry. I, I was looking at my phone. Um, uh huh. Well, it's because you're very brave. You're very so brave. brave. Very brave. I pinched mm. his cheeks. So brave. Very no, brave. No, 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 no. See, I took the bullet when we were in the tunnel that would eat you. Oh, yeah. Well, that we was didn't the tell you not to go. I in already took the bullet. It's one of fair. your guys' turn now. To be fair, you keep doing things that are stupid. I'm going to go through the wall. I'm going to push through even though I'm in third degree burns. I'm going to step into the that got pulled in. It, what? You, you don't remember how you were skinned alive? That said, yeah. <laughs> that said, that was forced upon you. I no, well, I'm, talking about the other, I'm talking about the first time. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, that was totally. Yep, that was a pretty dumbass decision. I'll yeah, admit. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You were like, "No, I can get back inside. I left my falafel there." <laughs> I mean, it was a good falafel. Um, but uh, mm, I don't know. I kind of I took one for the shield to find out what it would what it would do. I I I I I I, I, I uh, took the hit in the tunnel where the dark. We realized the darkness is going to kill you. All right, I all think right, I've all taken right, a couple right, of bullets right, here all right, already. All right, all right, all right. How about how about and I and I look at six. How about you? How about I? How about I draft up a soul deal? What's the hell he call it again? A soul, soul, de soul oath. A soul oath. How about I write up a soul oath for you to me? That's and not how was, this works. Well, why not? You just said it's a trust thing. Listen, I'm, this is a hard pass for me. I'm not going to lie to you, friend. We've done one job together, and then you're immediately like, so both, you know, that <laughs> seems a little strange. Just, it's kind of like we went out to Wendy's one time, and then you show up at my doorstep the very next day, and you're like, hey, bestie. And I'm like, we just went to lunch one time. If you don't want to know, that's fine. Not right I now, I don't. Not at that price. That's a hell of a price. You suggested having one of you take it and tell the others if it was worth it. I'm just saying no, I'm mean, willing. No, I mean, just in general, you were the one that brought up this whole solo thing to well, begin with. Would you be able to tell us exactly what we would be swearing to before we agreed to swear it? Could you, you said that we're going to repeat the words back to you. Could you tell us what it is? That's and important. Can, yeah, yeah, right. It wouldn't make sense for you to say, well, you have to agree to say the words and then I'm going to say the words and then you have to say them. It would make much more sense if you told us the words and then we could decide whether or not we want to say them back. Would that Indeed. make sense? The could words you... themselves yeah. are revealing. Okay. So Still you not. couldn't say the words unless you were doing the solo oath. What about uh, in general terms? It's, you know, maybe not specifics, but... Yeah, swap them out with a synonym. Yeah, like an apple or yeah. just random sure. nouns. I can, swap I out can the do nouns. that. I can do okay. that. Okay. I will take no action or knowingly omit any information that will directly or indirectly have a negative effect on me. I place on, on my you? soul within the soul oath and submit myself to eternal damnation and torture should I break any of these tenets. 
Ooh, that's a bit of a tight one, isn't it? Like one. Feeling like a bit claustrophobic. <laughs> so there are some extra words in there on okay. the specifics of exactly what and who you will not be harming. Okay. But it is a protection for me. Listen, let me go ahead and draw you up a little scenario, okay? Yes. We do the solo. Yes. We sign it before we... We essentially sign a blind contract because we don't really know what we're signing to. And the, the yes. verbiage of the contract essentially says that we can cause no harm to you under any circumstances, otherwise we forfeit our souls, right? Yes. Okay. Surprise, surprise. We sign it. Turns out you're actually Volos, and uh, now we can do nothing against Volos. Uh, not that we want to or need to, but just in case we ever wanted to in the future... Uh, now we can do nothing against the supreme power that it belongs in this universe because we have signed a soul oath and we've given away one of the only trump cards we have. True. Okay. I hope you Fair. realize how that you you are essentially asking us to sign a blind contract that will damn our souls for all of eternity when we don't know why we're signing it. For all we know, we could sign it. You'd say, "Did you know you can save fifteen by percent of your car insurance by switching to Geico?" <laughs> okay, I am not Volos. Do you work for Volos? I do not work for Volos any more than the average person here works for Volos. Everybody works for Volos because he built everything here. So we all work for him. Beyond that, no, I do not. Does that sound right? Is he being tr truthful? Uh, roll plus wisdom for insight. Hmm. With me, that's God. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, a 10 and a 12. Those were true statements. Mm. I'm going to ask him one more question. I want to look him right in his eye. I'm going to like put both hands on the desk and just like yeah. lean across, get right in his fucking face. Yep. Do you want Volos to fall? I cannot answer that. Yes, you can. I think. He's saying he won't answer it unless you swear the oath. I won't swear to the oath unless he answers it. I, I can't won't swear it either. I can't answer that because I've sworn the oath. <sighs> Can you not tell us anything because you've sworn an oath to that thing downstairs to protect it and telling us would break it? I can't tell you the things that I can't tell you because I've sworn a soul oath that prevents me from telling you these things. Okay, say nothing at all if you've sworn a soul oath to the thing downstairs. <laughs> Technically, you, you're not telling a lie. You're not obligated to speech. Everyone's got to have silent periods every now and then, right? Okay, starting right now. The soul oath Holy says, I literally <laughs> cannot omit any information either. Okay, Nor can I take an action. Say something after this pause if you've sworn a soul oath to the thing downstairs. I don't think I actually understand what it is that I can or cannot do that would tells I, you which way I, I actually... He either has or has not sworn a soul oath to the thing downstairs. <laughs> has or has, and I'm not sure so one of the two. Okay, well, shit. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Let me think. Let I me think, think we might Hold on, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, shut, 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 shut the fuck up. up. Okay. Shut the fuck up. Shut, shut up. Yeah, shut up. It. Just shut yeah. up. I forgot what it was. You can go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, shut up. Anyway. I forgot what I was going to say in two. Okay, good. It's gone. Bye. All right. Okay. You're still All talking. Right. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Rippy. Fuck. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. That was mean. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I don't have anything to say what you were going to say. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. Listen. Is your soul oath going to trap us in any way? As in maliciously. This kind of depends on where your politics lie. 
if they lie where I suspect they do, and we are on the same side, then no. If you are trying to... Go on. If you're trying to double Stop cross... Just say it. If you're trying to double cross me, then yes, it will trap you maliciously. It literally says eternal damnation and torture. True. I'm telling if if one of you wants one of you can take the oath, hear what I have to say, and tell the others whether or not it's worth it. I would take it, fellows, if you'd like. Or we can carry on, maybe do well, some other trust exercises and see you again some other time. I like Rippy. that. Rippy's not very good with the, uh, and he was waving his hands like the Captain Jack Sparrow arms. Ooh, ooh. more of a, you know, and he's imitating like picking someone's pocket. So <laughs> in terms of saying things that somehow swear us to an eternal contract that could possibly influence the rest of our mortal souls. A bit out of my depth, to be honest. Not really sure whether or not it should boil down to me as your post, whether or not we should say this not exactly well informed in the way of unbreakable vows. No, no, not an unbreakable vow. That's trademarked. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was I was going yeah, to call it that, but yes, yeah, solo. Ah, that's right. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yep. cannot never take mind an unbreakable my previous combination. Yeah, my previous combination of words. Never mind. Uh, the soul oath. Uh, not so sure about them. So maybe one of you with the more uh, magical experience should be the one to decide whether or not we do this or wait or what we do. Yeah, I don't know anything about souls in this universe either. Can I? Uh... Hold on, I've I've weighed. I, I think I should be the one that takes it to test it because I also have a hidden agenda. Oh, what's that? Oh, uh, she means no one can read my mind. Oh yeah, not no, even, that makes not sense. even Volos. That makes sense then, so that it would be undetectable. Yeah. But not if you don't want to. Don't worry about it. Oh, I absolutely don't. But Bishop would be inclined. <laughs> well, uh, well, uh, question, I guess. Uh, qu the other question is, do we need this? Can yeah, we make our that, own way? That's, that's, that's the other thing I've been debating is like, do we even know that we need this information? I don't even know that we necessarily need to know this information now. Oh. It, may, it may become apparent later on that we do indeed need it, in which case we can decide whether or not to take the plunge. But at this point, it kind of feels like we're trying to decide whether or not to take a risk for something that we might not actually need anyways. We might not yeah. need to know what the... Imagine we take this big, crazy oath, and then he's like, oh, we're down... The, the, my friend downstairs is planning on taking over the entire... Uh, uh, freshwater uh, farmed fish economy. <laughs> and we're like, yeah. well, I'm so glad we spent all this time to find out something that doesn't fucking affect us at all. So at this point, it feels a little bit like we're debating whether or not to take a big risk for something that may have literally no payoff, and we don't even know if we need to do it. But yeah. we may need to at some point. So I guess it just becomes, do we do we take the plunge because we might need to know now? Or we might, we might, we might need on. to know later? Hold or on, I have no idea. You, what do you, you, think? Just, you just gave me a good idea. Okay. All right. Yeah, All right. Listen, Six. You want us to take a very big chance on you. Can we? Can we agree to that? Yes. All right. I'm gonna need you to take a leap of faith with me. And if you take this leap of faith, I will take your oath. I'm listening. I need you to answer one question for me, and then. After that's done, I need my friend here. I look at, uh, I look at Tiger, uh, to do something that she does. Can you get me access to Volos's box? And I make like a hand gesture, like the little box that he would hold in his hand. Yeah. Can you get me access to Volos's box? It's so intriguing. What is your friend going to do? 
depends on your answer. Don't worry, it won't harm you in any way. It's true, it won't. Uh, so you're thinking of eating his memory? I'm thinking of whether or not, whether he answers it the right way or the wrong way, she can eat the memory and then we're safe for me asking that question. Yeah. If I roll right, if I roll good. Yeah. Um, so I, I think, I think devouring someone's memory is technically harm. Oh. So okay. I will require a charisma roll to try to deceive him of that. Oh, no, I thought it was actually wasn't harming him. Uh, um, in that case, I will say I'll, I'll reword if I can, if I can. Yeah. Um, I'm going to, I'll, I'll, before I'll essentially say, uh, I'm, I want to ask you, um, a, a, a specific question, which you can answer honestly. And if it's a question you're not too comfortable with, my friend here can actually remove that memory from you and actually give you plausible deniability. Hmm. I can answer the question and then choose to have the memory removed. Yes. Or choose to retain the memory, right? Well, it depends on your answer. If I ask you a question and it's like, oh, you're a bad guy, kill him. And it's like, no, I want to have this memory removed. Okay, I can agree to this. All right. And then I'll ask him, can he yeah. give me access to Volos' box? I think, eventually, yes. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. I love and hate that we've taken so long to agree to this deal. No, <laughs> you have made us, no, no, really. you have made us so paranoid in this yeah. fucking it's universe, so man. This Any is, other yeah. universe would be like, eat them. No, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. I think to a large extent, this is part of the combat in the Red yes, Ink. It man. Is. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's a battle Absolutely. of wits rather than like bronze. So I Absolutely. love it. I'm, yep. I'm so, my mind is going a million miles an hour just trying to think of what the fuck could this mean? <laughs> Why won't he tell us? How can we get the information? Do we want the information? Yeah. Are we going to be worse off in an exchange <laughs> if we agree to swear this fucking thing and we get the information? Like, oh my God, dude. I'm can totally say, scared. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, I was just going to say, can I say one other risk, but it's out of character, and is that cheating? No, go ahead. Okay, what, if we take an oath like this, are we going to have to, are we going to wind up having to tell this person about the other inks and stuff? Um, and is that a is that a problem? Oh, that is true, because he did yeah. say that he's going to have the condition in there, but you can't withhold information from Yeah, me. and it definitely yeah. would affect him. <laughs> if exactly, because if you yeah. say, tell, tell me what you know about reality, we, we would have to, we can't withhold well, information. Even on top of that, uh, he could easily find out our true mission here. If oh, I take yeah. that oath. Oh, my God. And then, yeah, then, right. then he gets... Then, then we're then, fucked. Then, yeah, then he could really, he could turn and sell that to Volos and really fuck us. Unless we can sell him on the prime ink kind of thing if he mm. wants the pyramid to change we're in the red ink uh, <laughs> probably not right. yeah fair enough uh it sounds like he wants to be the point of the pyra uh, pyramid and the white well, ink is anything but mm. or not white mm. ink but the prime ink prime ink is everyone's equal everyone's wanting for nothing this guy wants to be where volos is at I think he doesn't. I think he wants to be like up there, but in the shadows, kind of thing. I don't think he wants to be the figurehead. Sure. But I guess it's still the it's still the same result. I mean, it? yeah, it's still the they're same. still pulling the strings on the on the figurehead. Yeah, you know? you're right. Yeah. So I mean, I I I'm honestly stuck. I'm honestly stuck. Um, I I I, I don't. I I mean. My own just, personal, my own personal leanings. I'm leaning towards not taking the oath because I just don't see this as being mission critical information for us right yeah. now. Maybe it will be later, but I think at this point we're still pretty new to the red ink, getting ourselves so un unbreakably uh, connected to a person who will have an unimaginable um, amount of. Um, uh, 
an unimaginable amount of resources. Like, I'm just trying to think. Ah, I'm so torn. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if, we, if this is information that we need or if we can wait and see if it see if it's important later. Yeah, I'm I'm of the same mindset. It's like we're here to fuck up this ink, but the thing is, this ink fucks back and usually worse. <laughs> so I kind of want to minimize how hard we get fucked <laughs> from all the it, shenanigans yeah. the red ink has thrown at us so far. It's been kind of small stuff, but now we're starting to see like like the bank thing happen and our fingers aren't necessarily on it, but there are people that know who ordered that, you know, those mercenaries and stuff like that. Like six is one of those people. I'm sure you could get that information easily. Uh, but I'm very paranoid at this point in the sense of like the less we say to people that are not us, the higher chance we have of pulling off our mission. Okay. Uh, you know what? Hold on. We haven't we haven't asked one person. Tech, what do you think we should do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking you guys are fully embroiled in the nightmarish, paranoid, double crossing, what the fuck, who the fuck of red ink. And uh you guys are going through it well, man. There's there's uh there's you guys are asking all the right questions, you're doing all the right things, and at, at the end of the day. Um, you know, you just gotta, you just gotta do what you think is best. Unfortunately, yeah. uh, action and inaction both have consequences. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I'm, my, for my own personal OOC and IC leanings, I'm, I'm leaning towards not not doing it for now uh we i think we should pursue the uh, security consultant firm angle um and then uh and then and then see where that takes us i want to see what the second deal he brings to us is like it, he's this is a very big ask for the after completing a single job you know yep. exactly okay for all we know yeah. his, his uh soul oath is uh get me you know get me more souls you know, stuff like that. Well, he told like, you what the soul oath was, right? It's basically with yeah, the but information why so you... eager to pull us in after one job. You know, like he, he, like if I was a criminal he's mastermind, is what we're trying to say. He's yeah, thirsty. exactly. He he, <laughs> we thick and he's thirsty. That's that's what we're getting at here. Yeah, you you revealed a little bit of your of your of your political leanings, which he became very interested in, and the soul oath is. Once you have an exchange of information, you cannot wield that against him. Right. No, Tiger is definitely very, because she's all about curiosity. She would want to take it just to find out what the info is. But I would totally go with the party. Um, if we want to leave it for right now and say let's come back to this, but you, you're you intriguing us for sure. And we're not saying no forever, but we're saying not right now. And the, and I was about, I was literally about to say, yeah, you know what? Fuck it, go for it. What, what, it doesn't matter if, um, doesn't matter if, uh, if you, if you take it and, and the, you don't like the answer or whatever, because if you take it and he tries to pull information from you, we, we are all fucked. I know that's Because you too, can't, hey? you personally can't withhold information. What if I ate the memory of the prime ink thing from whoever is going to take the soul oath <laughs> and then they take it and then they figure out what the oath, I mean, what the information is and they can tell us if it's worth it without us being at so much of risk. <sighs> but there's no getting out of the soul oath, though not a cancelable thing is it is there a way i can cancel the soul oath um <laughs> no even if, if i, I get... were to remove the memory of whatever the subject was oh shit what if it's that can i take the soul oath verify what it is and then if I'm like, oh, no, this is going to fuck us. Uh oh, she can just like bloop, 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 bloop. And I will allow her to delete that memory from me. And now I don't have any knowledge of it. Hmm. Let me think about this. 
So you take the Soloth. You learn my secrets. And if you deem the information to be damaging to you, then Tiger will eat the memory and you will no longer have my information. Will Tiger have it? Tiger, can you, can you, can you like vomit it out and like now you don't have it? Uh, I could lie here, but no, I don't, I think I, uh, I think I just have it, unfortunately. I don't think there's anything to do to get, get it out of my brain. Try lying. What's that? I would, I would suggest lying. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> it will be completely gone from, uh, the person's memory. You better and roll so good right here, you little shit. <laughs> <laughs> I see a deception check. <laughs> yeah, In go ahead future. and go ahead and roll plus uh, charisma. Just right away, huh? I don't even. Okay, it's a. Well, cool I mean, you're, you're you're lying about it, right? I will, but I'm gonna try and op, just kind of obfuscate. No, yeah, I am lying. You're right. Yeah. Shoot. Oh my god. Shoot. Um, Hopefully this is enough to not get us totally kicked out and with no further audience with this person forever. Yeah, so Six kind of looks at you. And they kind of... Uh, they just have their glasses up, right? So you can't really see their eyes, but you can just tell that they're looking at you with a sense of distrust in that statement. And... Uh, he says I don't know enough about that kind of magic to know if it's reversible healable or if perhaps you're not telling me all the truth this is why the soul oath is needed for information exchange if you just want to run if you just want to run jobs I'll bring you information, you bring me money. We have an agreement, we have an arrangement, we just go forwards with that. If you want to know about what's downstairs, and if you want to know more about this pyramid, then take the soul oath and we can talk. Are we obligated to help you with whatever your plans are? Mm, that's no. a good question right there. No we're not. shit. Okay. Uh, we're not? Fuck! Sign up! Why did you just fucking say that? <laughs> this whole time I thought it was like, oh, if I tell you, I have to tell you everything I know. No. What? You oh, simply <laughs> cannot take an action against me. Or I slap him before I take the soul oath. <laughs> <laughs> You'll take the soul oath. Can I slap you first for wasting so much of my time by not putting that little detail in? Um, I good. I, I told. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. Okay. Um, All right. So I told time. you Let's exactly. I told you. What no, the, okay? I don't remember. I wasn't listening. I was looking at. I was looking at Fibber. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, if you're the only one taking it, then we'll have to go downstairs so that the others can't hear. Can't they just go outside for a minute? I don't want to go downstairs with your oh, fucking no, weird no, he wants to, He wants you all to himself and Sebastian Winks. You have fun. <laughs> there's a there's a physical aspect of the soul oath that see. I know it. I know it is. Oh, I you go have your fun. My, I, start, I start unzipping my pants. No, that's that's not <laughs> oh, necessary. Okay. That's not, no, that's like not audience. necessary. All right. <laughs> that's not necessary. Oh. <sighs> Would you follow me downstairs? Oh, fucking Christ. Fine. All right. If you fuck me, I will kill you. <laughs> no, this... <laughs> this is... Uh, this is to prevent that exact thing. So I have a question. If you fuck me, does that mean your soul is now eternally damned? Once you take the soul oath, if I fuck you over, 
in a couple specific ways yes if i fuck you over in the same ways that you are prevented from fucking me over yes okay now one more question who exact who the fuck changed the music what the fuck you need to <laughs> no you you're like an plug? We're, no we're doing the solo so this is the solo music oh my god this is not <laughs> this is not good for boating i swear to god <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you don't know why you should be scared yet. Where's that Hyundai Jetta music what? coming from? No, oh, no, 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 go back upstairs no, now. No, you're not going back upstairs. No, 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 go back. Is this, is this the door? We're going through with this is now. This, no, this no this it's just no, through oh, here. Let no, me out. Let please, me out. this way what now. What the fuck is there a cat here? Just oh, over here. here. Yeah, I'm going to, worry about I'm going to need you to take this knife. Where the hell is that knife? Knife? And I'm going to need you to remove one of your eyes. Oh my god. Uh, wait. This wait is bad. It is Volos, it isn't Volos. it? No, it is yeah. Volos. fucking Volos. It is Volos. Was I right to be skeptical this whole time, you little fucking shit? And you're going to have to repeat the words after me now. Bail no. out. No, I don't know. You know what? I don't like I don't like this eyeball thing. I like my eyes. He places the knife in your hand. I look at both of his eyes to see if he has both of his eyes. Ah, uh, you see the sunglasses. I take off his sunglasses. <laughs> he pulls his head away. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> hey. I, no, I go to pull don't, off his sunglasses. No, don't take fucking off do no, fucking sunglasses. Stop that. Let me see your stop, eyes. Stop being, stop being, stop being fucking see. weird. Stop being Let fucking weird see about this. Your eyes. Take out your fucking eye. Let me see your eyes. And I want to turn into Shark Snake. <laughs> Oh, nice. Um, your eyes. And he begins to grow in size as. Uh, hold on, let me fucking look this shit up. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, you expect me to take out one of my eyes? Sharks always protect their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> um, where the hell did I put this? I mean, that's just science. Does he need an eye every time? Like, how many oaths has this guy taken? One, two... Yeah, I was about to say, there's got to be a jar somewhere in here. Oh, is that what the guy was eating in the bar? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, from... Whoa. Uh, okay. Eyeballs. He doesn't transform because I can't find the notes. <laughs> <laughs> this organization saves us yet again! <laughs> um... But you are down uh, in the, like, um, cellar. And you have the knife in your hand. And he just looks at you. And he says, Take out your fucking eye and repeat after me. Not until you show me your eyes. This isn't going to go the way you want it to go. At this point, you are committed. So at this point, like he is, he has talked to Galdrick. Galdrick had the long conversation with him. I like to think that Galdrick told him a few minor things that Volos is obsessed with. And one of the things would have definitely been eyes. Yep. Which is why he is immediately like, no. See, what happens if he, are, are you literally going to say no? I, if he shows me his eyes, I'll show, I'll go through. If he, if he shows if he shows me that he's missing an eye, I'll go through with it. That's why I want to see his eyes. Because he doesn't have an eye. He doesn't have a knife in his hand. Only I have a knife in my hand. Uh, roll plus charisma. He takes off his glasses. And he has two eyes. Oh. Fuck. And he puts his finger into one of the eyes Ooh. and pops out the fake eye. Oh, what the fuck is going on? That's a bit better. Now I know you're not lying to me. <laughs> kind of like stare at the ground a little bit and just like contemplate. <sighs> fuck. I got out one of my eyes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You stick the knife in, and the pain is blinding. Oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> damn it. Nice. Dad joke. Fuck. Da nice. Damn it. No, no, damn it. Three, Shit. One, four. Fuck. Nice. Damn it. Dad joke. Damn it. <laughs> you jam the blade free dad joke. <laughs> into, your, into your eye socket, and you carve it out. He oh. says, repeat after me. I will take Everyone no knows. action. I might take an action. I will take no action. I'll take, my, I'll take no action. Or knowingly omit any information. Um, I kind of grin. Knowingly omit any knowledge. That will directly or indirectly. That will directly or indirectly. Lead to the discovery of the organization known as the Soulless. Lead to the organization known as the Soulless. What the fuck? Soulless? Really? That's what it is? The Soulless? That's stupid. What a stupid fucking cheesy name. You should have been called like the Trailblazers. Or the people within it. Or, or the people within it. Or the actions it has taken or plans to take. What the actions? Whatever the fuck you said. I'm bad with words. <laughs> <laughs> I, okay, you just repeat what he says. I place my soul. I just repeat what you said. <laughs> I place my soul within the soul oath and submit myself to eternal damnation and torture. Should I break any of these tenets? I submit Sebastian's soul to his soul. <laughs> <laughs> Someone call me. No, 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 Welcome, Bishop Kane, to the Soulless, an organization with a singular goal Go on. to dismantle Volos and the Council and the rule they have put over this entire world. Wow. Okay. That's it. I aim for bigger. Good. Now, do you have a bandit or perhaps a cybernetic eye? <laughs> um, he takes your eye and he pries up one of the one of the um, floorboards and he pulls out this like big fucking chest, opens it up, and you see hundreds of eyes in there. Oh my oh. god! And he tosses the eye in, closes the chest, and locks it. And he says. Now that we're in business, we can talk completely openly. And we'll pick it up there next time. Oh my Holy god! <laughs> Holy shit. Of all the things that I was expecting, I thought it was literally gonna he was just gonna say some words and it was gonna be a wave of magic, not <clears throat> here's a knife out with the eyeball. Oh my <laughs> god. Dude, so I love it. I fucking love it. So fucking crazy. Wow. Okay. Holy yeah. shit. Well, I'm going to be very interested to see what sort of revelations he has next week. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. Time. Yep. Wow. So you Wait, are now fucking awesome. Bishop, next you are now a member of the Solus, and Holy you can fuck. have an open and free information exchange with six. I'm not going to lie to you. I was really kind of hoping you were going to say welcome to the calligraphers and I was going to be like, mother. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. I, well, I can't even imagine where this is going. I have the fucking soulless aiming at dismantling the council and, uh, and Volos' rule over this the, the dominion over this realm. What the fuck? I can't, I, oh my God, dude. That's fucking awesome. Well, I can't wait. I'm so excited. This yeah. is a fucking awesome session. I feel like my brain got such a thorough workout from just trying to like not fuck ourselves over horribly yeah oh my god i'm trying to think of it from so many different angles it was awesome i loved yep. it yep and i got i got some big things planned for you guys man big things planned for you guys uh um, like love my, it. i like my last minute shark voice I a couple of that was good yeah, yeah no, that was really yeah. good yeah <laughs> uh i actually kind of like that um Six didn't transform, but I, I do have to find all his notes on his transformation. <laughs> Somewhere because in there. There is, a, there is a fucking transformation in there. And I know the gist of it, but I don't remember the specifics. So I'm going to have to find that. Um, yeah, that's fair. But yeah. Uh, okay, guys. Um, a heads up. Yeah. Um, next week is US Thanksgiving and Black Friday. So Oh, my oh. God. Okay. 
Let's uh, let's let's plan already now because I know Thanksgiving is huge in the U.S. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we we can we can plan to not have a session uh, next week. That's that's completely fine. Yeah, absolutely. That yeah. sounds great. And then uh, we'll hit the next one with the discussion um, between uh, Bishop and Six, so that you can get all the information you want and decide whether or not you want the rest of the party to join you. Fuck yeah, man. That sounds mm. fucking awesome. Okay, awesome. So not next week, but the week after. Same time, fucking same place. Right. See you all then. Yeah, I'll see, see you guys you then. You in December. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.